Hey, welcome back to Mike's Trains. Um, thanks for joining me again. Uh, so, here we are with the floor. As you saw from last time, it's all done. Our tracks are in. Now we're ready to start the walls. Um, and this is where the tricky parts come in. Um, because obviously we have to make these walls here and here. And we have to make everything look like it's one large building. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at this wall here and I'm going to work my way around because from here to this corner is s standard you know building and from here all the way around is normal building um, we don't have to do anything custom with that but this section right here and right here are the important parts that we have to fabricate and, and make work in our, in, our, in our new building. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've taken this right here. This is this wall and this wall and I've joined them together. I did this earlier so that the glue had a good, good chance to dry. And these are going to fit right here. So that goes in here like this. Okay, so now we need to figure out this wall. Now, I have some walls here. Now these walls, I've already primed a, a dark brick color and I'm gonna address these later as far as how dark they are with the uh, brick color with the weathering once this, these walls are all done. So this wall here has these notches cut in it. These go with these notches here because this can be added on to Walther's adds these little things here so you can either put a new floor another floor section on or these notches will cover over the uh, the bits on there so that you know it shows a finished end and, and it goes all the way all the way down to the ground of course it's not going to go to the ground because I have the, the, the inspection pits in there but that would meet it meets the bottom edge of this floor uh, piece here. So that goes there. Now for this side, we have this piece. So instead of having the big notches in there, it has little pieces of plastic that come out that correspond with these notches in here. So this is going to go here. And obviously we don't need all of this. Now, in looking at how this is going to work, you know, we have our floor here, and this is this wall here is the side wall that goes down the machine shop. This wall is going to go here, okay? And I'm going to cut this off, and it actually works out perfectly. So we're just going to cut off this these end two windows, and this wall pretty much just fits right into place, like this. All right, and this also drops down the back side of the edge of the building. There's there's a ledge right here, and this covers over some of this back edge. So that actually works out fairly well for us. So this will go on here like this, and the walls stay the same height. We don't have any issues with that whatsoever. Once I cut this off, this will glue right into place. The issues that we do have now are this piece right here. Now in this piece right here, if you were to match up these sides of the building, so you take, this is the machine shop, this is the roundhouse, these are not quite the same height, but this will ride a little bit higher, this wall here. So they're going to be close to the same height, but here's the problem. When you take this wall and you put it up to the windows here, it's in the window. So right up here, we can't, it's not going to sit above it. So I can't leave these three windows. These are the windows that go around the top of the roundhouse. So what we're going to do before I start cutting anything and putting any walls in place is in, in seeing how this works, we have a garage door here and then we have windows down here from here down we don't need but we do need this top part so what I'm gonna do 
is we're going to fill in these three windows here and this window. So what I've come up with is I went through all my scrap pieces of, of uh, styrene from other kits and stuff and I found bits of walls with the brick pattern on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out, I've already marked, I held this behind like this and I traced out the opening for the window like that. And I'm going to cut out these squares. I have there's one, two, three, four, four, four windows to cover. So I have, for the top windows, I have this one, this one, and this one. These are the top three windows. And then this one right here will cover that lower window. Now I'm not going to worry about these matching in color the exact same. And, and here's the theory I'm going on is when buildings are built, they're built in a specific way. When buildings are remodeled or refurbished or changed in some way, um, windows are bricked in and filled over to match the rest of the brickwork, but you can still see how the window was there. And that's what we're going to maintain in here. So these were bricked over. So in looking at the round at the roundhouse and the machine shop, we're going to assume that the roundhouse was built first and then maybe some years later the machine shop was was added on. So that's that's the assumption we're going on and then in order to, to add this on they had to fill in these few windows here in order to make that work. So that's what we're going to follow through here. Um, so why don't we start with filling in these three windows Actually, before I fill in those windows, I'm going to glue in this other wall section that I have. We're going we're gonna to glue in that wall section right back there. Um, so why don't we get this glued in and, and locked down because we don't need to move that anymore. So let's get that glued in. I'm going to take my glue here. Now, people were asking, this is, this is a bottle of 10 x 7 uh, This isn't what's in here. Uh, somebody asked on, on, uh, in the comments. Um, I did respond on here, and I shake this up every time, and there's a reason for that. This is actually uh, MEK. It's, it's M-E-K. Um, I bought it at Home Depot, kind of a quart can for maybe 10 bucks. Uh, I know there's a lot of people who, who say you shouldn't use it, it's, it's not good for you and all that, but for the amount of time that I use it for, I'm not going to worry too much about it. And I find that this actually, I like it better than the 10 x um, but what I do is I, I, I use pipettes and I s siphon out of the big can and I fill this bottle when I need to, and then in this bottle I drop little, the little scraps of styrene that I get from cutting up things like this. I put them in the bottle and then they dissolve and turn into part of the glue. And I find that, you know, doing on these things like this, it, it works really, really, really well. And the, the one thing that it does that 10 x doesn't do is it will glue through the paint. So if I have painted pieces such as these and I glue them together with, with this stuff here, the, the the, it, it, it eats right through the paint and it, it does a really good job. So that's what I'm using in case anybody was wondering. Okay, so my windows are marked. These are the, these are the uh, brick inserts for that wall. So I'm taking my metal straight edge. I use this with a cork backing because it gives me a little bit of grip on the hard plastic. It doesn't slip around. Um, and I'm just going to score it. Now I cut this line so it's a little bit bigger. I want to make sure it's going to fit 
in here and not be too small. And we're a little, little big, which is fine. I'd rather be a little oversized than undersized. Okay, so there's another window panel. Now, I've already done three of these. Okay, so this will be just the last one, and I'm going to have to sand to get this in. Well, it's pretty close. So we'll just take the sandpaper. Now, I don't have any kind of fancy jig, so I just use my eye and my hands here. And I'm just cleaning up the edge here. And we'll just keep fitting it in there to, to, until it fits all the way in. See, now it's fitting inside the opening for the actual window. So now, because I have this line down here, I'm going to sand that end. Now the only thing I do want to do is I'm keeping this tilted back so that, so that this angles from the outside brick pattern angles down a little bit to the, in, to the inside. Only because, think of it like a bottle cork. You want it to fit tight on the outside for sure, but if the inside is a little bit loose you're not going to see it and it really doesn't matter. It makes it easier to fit into the hole. So we still got to keep going, we'll go around the sides a little bit. So now that one's in, this one fits right here. It's a little bit loose, but it'll work. that. So there's our three windows cut out, or filled in, I should say. So now I'm just going to run some glue around the back side and get these all locked in. So now all our windows are glued in. Now we just have to let that set up for a little bit. So before we go any further, because we're going to need to cut off this, we only need this section over here for the outside. So we're going to cut probably right through the center of this window. So let's sit with that for a little bit. And our other wall is in. Let's let all this stuff set up for a little bit and we'll come back and we'll start cutting wall sections. All right, so I finished adding the, the uh, blackouts to this wall here and this is what we end up with. It didn't come out too bad. I, I, I'm thinking it'll, it'll do. Now, while I was doing this, I was looking at um, I was originally going to cut this wall off right here, but we need this top part here. So rather than cutting this completely off, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off down this window here. I'm going to cut this line straight down. I'm going to cut this line straight down. And I'm going to cut directly across all these windows. So this center section will come out. And that will join the inside, this side to this side. And then we'll use, we'll be able to use this upright here as a roof support when we add the roof to this whole thing on both sides. The, the roof over the roundhouse will actually fit the way it's supposed to. And then we'll have, have to fabricate a roof for this side. So I think that's how we're going to do it, and then we'll just notch out, if you can see, I don't know how well you can see, but this right here, this piece, will have to notch up here all the way over to the window, so that this will sit down where it needs to be. 
So I think that's the next piece that's going to go in. So why don't we start cutting this one up and uh, we'll see how that turns out. We'll get my straight edge, line this up here. up with this. I shouldn't have cut this one but I did. Okay so now we have this. Now we have to figure out where the notch goes in here. So if we fit this in here, this goes like this. Get my pen. I'm going to take a sharpie, sharpie marker. Just gonna lay this in place where it goes, like that. I'm just gonna mark the outside right there. And then we only need to go just a very small bit right across. So we need to notch out that small amount. So that's how that goes, just like that. And then we need to trim the front end of this down as well. Yeah, just like that. Alright, so that's this wall right here. So the next thing I want to do is I want to get this wall put in, and that's these pieces right here. So now we want to get this put in. Okay, so now we have, I let this dry, this is pretty well solid in here now. So now we've got these walls, obviously this one wasn't dry. But we've got these walls in, now it's time to get this back wall into place. And this is the wall, and obviously you can see it, it doesn't really fit, but we're lucky in the fact that it comes up to this back window. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off this strip of windows right here and then we'll have to do maybe another small trim beyond that. And then that should fit right into place. Straight edge again. See, so now we've got this wall. There's a little bit of windowsill. There we go. Alright, so let's try and fit this in and see what we get. So we're still a little bit long. So what I want to do is I want to trim off a little bit more of this end and then a little bit on this end. So I'm going to cut off Probably about, go this way I can see how much I'm cutting off. I'm going to cut it off right there. Actually, I'm going to take the square because I want to make sure it's a, it's a straight cut. So we'll put the square in here like this.
All right, so there's the uh, the back wall fully installed. Uh, I was putting this in earlier as I was doing the video and I ran out of battery power. So I just went ahead and finished it while the battery was charging. And this is what we're going to end up with. And this is all glued in, all done. So now we're done from here all the way around. Now the next step is to finish these walls here. And then um, these back walls and this side wall. Those will be next on the on the agenda to get done with this. Um, so it's not looking too bad so far. We're, I think we're I'm on a good good track here to get this done. This came out actually fairly well. Pretty happy with it. I'll need to touch up the red primer again just to get that looking the same as the rest of it. But I think we're, we're good overall. Um, I'm going to call it done for this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do. Uh, like to have, always like to see the new subscribers coming. Let's me know I'm doing things right. People like what I'm doing. Um, like the videos. I'll always like my videos, so I know I'm doing a good a good job. And if you haven't visited my website yet, please do. It's mikestrains.wordpress.com. Uh, occasionally, I put up pictures and things that you know you won't see those on YouTube there of my layout. Um, so until next time, happy modeling.